Hi, it's Karen with RT Systems. What you'll see in this video is currently available in the Windows version 5 RT Systems programmers. We expect to have the Mac version ready about mid-September. It is summer 2025 and boy do we have something new for you for the version 5 programmers. In conjunction with RepeaterBook, we have a route search. Put a beginning and ending point, waypoints, and get all the repeaters along the way. It's really cool. It starts with help and check for updates. There's another video on the site that talks about doing the updates. But if when you do file external data repeater book, your screen does not include area search and route search, you need to do the update. It's easy to do. Help check for updates and go for it. This one has been updated, so we'll go on with repeater book. File external data repeater book. Area search in the programmer will always remain and is free to use by all. Route search. Route search requires the repeater book plus subscription. You go to repeaterbook.com. Once you are logged in, and let me show you something so I don't have to come back. We are going to ask for a user ID and a password in the program. That is your user ID and password that you use for the repeater book site. I'm going to log in. And I can't show you all of the rest of this because I already have my subscription. But repeater book plus and subscription plans. View subscription plan, several links here to get to where you want to go. That's all with Repeater Book. Once you have your subscription plan, then if you go to your dashboard, it will tell you right here that you are a subscriber and how long your subscription is current. Let's go back to the programmer. Route search, user ID and password. As I said, those are the same pieces of information that you use to log in to the repeater book site. Start city, state, or zip code. You could just put a zip code where you want to start, but if you put a city, you got to put a state. Where you're going to end, city, state, or zip code. Again, if you put a city, you got to put a state with a comma. Route width. Using a handheld, you're not going out very far along your route. If you're using a mobile radio, you might could go 50 miles out of your route. So you decide. I'm going to do 10 miles. Wide area only. There are a lot of repeaters that have a large footprint, a wide area footprint. And wide area only will bring you only those. So you may go further between repeaters. Any coverage will give you the wide area and everything else in between. Anything that overlaps your route. Exclude local only excludes the repeaters that have very limited coverage. So let's do wide area only and waypoints. City and state with a comma. And then I want to go through St. Louis, Missouri. This is quite a trip. What's fun is to show route. There's my route. That looks about like where I'm going. And now I'm going to tell it OK. The programmer returns the repeaters in order starting in Atlanta. This is not Dallas, Texas. This is Dallas, Georgia. Going up through your route and to Fort Worth. 
They are in distance order from where you started out to where you're ending. So I'm going to create the file. And I even get the city name or an abbreviated city name in the name, as many characters as it can bring. I had city in the comment too, so I get good information there. But I'm going to go back to this and I'm going to be coming home along the same route. So I'm going to click distance right here. Now I'm starting in Fort Worth and I'm coming back in Georgia. That generally takes two clicks to reverse the column and I'm going to create the file. From the same list of information, I now have one going out and I have another one to come back with. So this is Repeater Book Route Search in the RT Systems Version 5 Programmers available to Repeater Book Plus subscribers. I hope you find it useful for your travels. So this is Karen. Remember, if you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Travel safe, 73s.